Hey guys, it's Molly. It is rainbow day today and it is the green base. I did start out by using a hooker's green and I didn't like it very much. So, and I hope YouTube doesn't demonetize this because I said that. <laughs> But I decided to use a different green instead. I mixed that green with the um, Brilliant Green from Amsterdam and I got a lighter color that I like a little bit better. I'll show you both at the end. Um, I'm hoping that this one turns out well. Um, and then I, you guys can let me know what you think for the two. So let's go. Okay, you guys, rainbow. Oh, the green. Okay, so what happened? I did one um, that was with a hooker's green and the color dried. I should have done my little color test first. It dried a little bit darker and it was just not quite what I wanted. Um, and I used the hot pink that I've been using as well and it just didn't super go with the series. So what I decided to do was mix up a green in between Brilliant Green and Hooker's Green that kind of goes more with the colors of the rainbow. And I tried to use some opaque colors this time. So some of my colors were getting lost and I started thinking about it and thinking why, and I think it had to do with the transparency. So transparent colors, sometimes will get lost if you mix them with opaque or darker colors. So I think that is what happened. Um, I'll show you when I do the dried result, I'll show you the hookers green one as well. And you guys can let me know what you think. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I think I'm going to start with, I wanted one dark color because these colors that I'm using are all light colors. So I mixed some indigo, um, and some, um, King's blue together. And I think I'll go with the yellow next. Fan that out just a little bit. And then I think I'll go with the orange. You guys wanted yellow and orange for the green one, so I said, okay. This one looks like it may be just a little bit thin, but we'll see how that works. And then I'm going to go with silver in the middle. I don't want too much paint on there. And I'm just going to come back in with just a little bit of this blue for some contrast. And maybe just one more little bit of silver. I really want the silver to pop on this one. Okay. Um, let me see if I have any left on my green to go around. There we go. All right, let me torch this and we'll see if this one comes out any better. Okay. So I think I'll just blow over one good time and then blow out. Okay, except for this one little part that got muddy right here, I actually really like this. Let me see if I have any green left in here to go over that one little part. Sorry, I know it's probably in your way. So I'm just gonna blow that part right there over. Woo! And then you can always take your finger and soften that back so that it doesn't look like it's kind of stretched off the canvas like that. Okay, so I like this whole part right here. These colors are gorgeous. I love all the cells right here. I think I'm just gonna blow just one little bit right here with my mouth, not with. Hope I'm still in camera. Let's 
See, I don't want it to get too muddy. I think composition wise, I feel like that got muddy right there. All right, so let me see if there's any green left in here. This is how you fix that little part, even if you've only got a little bit left. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Okay, I feel like if I blow more, it's gonna be way overdone. All right, so let me show you. Wow, so this series has been like a real challenge for me. Whew. All right, so I fiddled just one little bit. I added a little bit of orange there and there for composition to kind of, you know, keep that going through. Um, here are those really cool cells and lacing. So I think this silver is gonna make this one, but we'll see. And I think this green is gonna dry a little bit darker. So we'll wait and see what the dried result is. All right, here they all are. They look spectacular. So those are the first ones that I did. And then here is the one that I just did that you saw on video. And I told you I would put the hookers green up beside it, but do you see how much darker that one is? I really like the color combination. The composition's not my favorite, but in this one, you can see the silver. You can see all those beautiful cells that were created all the lacing, it's really, really pretty. So I definitely like that one better. Um, if I had to do this again, this yellow one is actually quite dark as well. And once you get up on it, you can kind of see the green and everything, but looking from back here, it's kind of dark. So I would actually maybe do that one again, that yellow one again. But for the green, I'm loving the color combination, the yellow, the orange, the aqua very pretty. So you guys can let me know what you think and you can let me know what you would like to see for the blue base. All right. So I have my light, my light on over there. So that silver right there really pops. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Yep. painting. Bye.